Hey guys, Will here, you're watching Booster Autos, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can update the maps on your iDrive system in your BMW without paying a massive amount of money from BMW themselves. So there are a couple of steps that are involved in this process. We've got to copy some files onto a USB stick. We've got to get ourselves a genuine activation code as well to make it all work. So in this video I'm going to be walking you through the process, showing you how simple it all is, how quick it all is, and exactly what you need to do. So we'll start off by jumping on the computer and I'll show you how you need to set everything up there first then we'll move into the car and get it all installed so let's get into it okay so the first thing we're going to need to do is establish the type of maps which we need for our specific vehicle so what you want to do is jump onto your iDrive system go into maps press the options button on your iDrive controller and scroll down to navigation system version now you'll see on your iDrive screen a whole bunch of information describing the maps that are currently installed on your car. The fifth line down is the line that we're interested in. So it's highlighted on the screen for you here now. Now you'll see here it says next 2017. So next is the type of map. Now if you've got an older BMW with the CIC navigation system, you're going to be seeing premium motion or move here and that's the type of map that you'll need to download. If you've got an NBT system in your car like I do, then it's going to be the NEXT or next version of maps. So now that you've established the type of maps that you're going to need for your specific car, it's time to jump online and find a place to download them. So there's a couple of things that you're going to need here. You're going to need the map update files themselves, as well as what's called an FSC code. Now an FSC code allows you to actually update the maps on your car. So when you install your USB stick to update the maps, it's going to prompt you to insert this code. So you type it in using the iDrive controller on your, um, on your car. And once you've inserted that code correctly, it'll begin the map update process. So you're gonna need an FSC code as well as the map update. So I'm not gonna point you to a specific website to download the maps because there's different places that have different prices and it varies all the time. And um, I think it's best if you do your own research. So you can find the maps for free online if you're lucky. Um, how legal that is, I'm not sure. So I'm definitely not gonna link anywhere to do that, but do your own research there. What you're gonna to wanna to type in is the region, the type of map and the year. So for me, for example, I'd type in BMW map Australia NEXT 2018 and that will point me to the right direction and then I can just find the best place. Now the other thing to mention here as well is that there are FSC codes that work for lifetime. So you type in the code once and then every map update you do afterwards, you don't have to put the code in again. And that's what I did the last time I updated my maps back in 2017. So I won't actually need to put an FSC code in when I do this update, but I'll still show you what it looks like. Now, most map providers will also supply an FSC code as well. So just do a bit of research, find the one that's gonna be the best suited for your needs and the one that you feel the most comfortable using. So when we've finished that, we're gonna have an FSC code, which is just an alphanumeric string, as well as a zip file, which will contain all of the map update files. So We'll jump on the computer now and I'll show you how to copy all the files onto your USB stick ready to load onto your car. So once you've received your download file, you're going to want to extract it. Now I use 7-zip to extract files because it can open pretty much anything, but feel free to use whatever program you prefer. Simply extract the contents of the zip file. Now you're going to want to delete the readme file if there is one inside there because the car won't need that. Now we want to right click on our USB memory stick and select format. We need to make absolutely sure we're formatting it in FAT32 format because the other formats don't work. And now you just need to copy the contents of the extracted folder directly to the root of your memory stick. So we don't want to copy the folder itself, just the contents. So you can see I've got the individual files and folders copied to the root directory of the memory stick. Once we've done that, we safely eject and we go back to the car with our USB stick. So once back inside your car, switch on your ignition and jump into the navigation app. Insert your USB stick into the armrest USB slot as shown. And you'll see the indicator light start to flash on the USB stick to indicate that the files are being read. And you'll see a prompt pop up on your iDrive screen automatically prompting you to update. So click start update. Now at this point, if you haven't previously inserted an FSC code, it's gonna prompt you to do so. So enter that code in.
and the update will begin. Now for me this update took around about the 5 minute mark but it depends on the speed of the USB stick and the car that you've got as well but allow for up to sort of 20 minutes half an hour for the update to work and it does give you a nice progress meter as it's going. And once it's finished the navigation system will reboot. So jump back down to navigation system version again and check that you've got the updated version as you can see here. I've got next 2018 which is the latest version of maps from my region and that is it. So as you can see, it's a really simple thing to do yourself. So I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you have, please make sure you do hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel as well and hit the notification icon so you don't miss out on the new videos. Also make sure you check out some of the previous videos that we've done on the BMW as well, showing you things like how you can install BMW apps on your car, various different retrofittings and coatings and that sort of thing as well. There's a whole heap of stuff already on the channel. So make sure you check it out. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.